love for Phoenix yeah. and pride, but I think this is a week you might want to get out of town. <laughs> not, not the week to celebrate no, the heat No, I here. don't think so. <laughs> Emma will be out of the state for the next three months, three or four months. I actually am going to Hawaii this week, so oh, I am leaving at a good time. Oh, wow. A perfect time, Emma, mm -hmm. because, yes, wow. it's going to be warm this week, and I think we know the summer is coming, right? But I think when it we get that 110, we're just like, oh. You know, it's plus. Just, yeah, it just gets a little bit more uh, real, I guess. So that's what we're talking about heading into this week is we're probably going to see 110. And on average, we usually see that around June 11th. So, yeah, it's we're pretty much due for it. That's next week. The earliest that we've had 110 here in Phoenix, that was May 8th, 1989. And then the latest, how nice would this be? Not until September. That was back in 2010. So, again, we're pretty much uh, on track to see it on an average 110 as we head into this upcoming week. 105, our high today, average is 101. So, the National Weather Service has put out an excessive heat watch for here in the Valley, Mojave County, because temperatures are going to be about 10 degrees warmer than that average as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, and also into Friday. Take a look at those temps outside right now. Some areas pretty comfortable. We're in the 80s in Carefree, Cave Creek, 92 still in Scottsdale, Paradise Valley. And then we're also still in the 90s in the West Valley. So a pretty warm night for us. We'll cool things down, of course, overnight into the mid 70s. So the morning hours, if you can get up early, still pretty comfortable. We'll be in the 40s for Flagstaff, 50s out in eastern Arizona and along the rim, 60s down in the southeast corner of the state. So the key is just getting out early, right? If you have any uh, hikes planned or need to take the pups out for a walk, do so early. We'll be at 91 already by that 10 o'clock hour. Mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. And then once again, another day in the triple digits for your Monday. I want to show you what the jet stream looks like. It kind of helps us better understand what the upcoming week will look like. We have a couple of disturbances passing just to the north of us. These ones don't come far enough south at all. In the meantime, this ridge of high pressure will build in. What that means for us is that we'll stay dry here across the state. And then that's really the main reason why we're really going to crank those temps up. Again, we're looking Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to be some of the warmest readings we've had so far, but statewide we'll notice that warm up. We go from the 80s in Sedona to the upper 90s by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. Similar conditions for Prescott and Heber will go from the lower 80s to about 90 by Wednesday, and Cottonwood we will get into the triple digits. So here's how the next seven days shape up. 103 for your Monday, 104 Tuesday, and then, oh boy, yes, it's going to get very warm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We did first alert. That goes right on uh, par with the National Weather Service issuing that excessive heat watch. They've done so for Wednesday, Thursday. I wouldn't be surprised if that also gets extended into Friday because we're looking at 110 for Friday. And then we'll cool things down just a little bit back to 104 and 103 for the upcoming weekend. All right, Holly, thank you.